Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on our good friend EESO Enzyme Environmental Solutions Incorporated. It's been quite a while since I've done this one, um, but if you're a longer time follower of my video charts, uh, I'm sure you do remember me doing some video charts on EESO. Um, I think the last time I had done any was up around this area here, and then um, they released that uh, news a while back, really caused uh, the sell off here. And pretty much since then has been uh, consolidating, had a few nice pops, uh, one being here, then another one there. And then basically from this point, uh, the stock's slowly been drifting down. Uh, a good monitor of that is right here, the 50-day simple moving average, just uh, really curling downwards. Uh, but I wanted to get this uh, back up here because it's presenting a possibly good trading opportunity and for um, the longer term holders, investors, it's also approaching a, a key uh, support level that you would ideally like to see hold. Uh, so I'm going to kind of attack the chart today from two different perspectives. One being if you're just a, a day trader, a scalper, maybe a, a short term swing trader. And then the other being from the investor standpoint in terms of what you uh, do and don't want to see happen. I'm going to also just take a look at the daily and weekly chart uh, to kind of give a, a couple different viewpoints on things. So as I mentioned, this is the daily chart, and um, what we have happening here is, as I mentioned, just a downtrend here, highlighted by the 50-day cent moving average, and even in the short term, you can see that uh, the 20-day cent moving average and the 10-day are also just basically forming a channel, sloping downwards. Uh, but we're starting to approach some key support points, and that's what the main uh, point of this video is. So let me just get this first one highlighted. It is the low from back here in early June. Let me move this down a little bit. But this low right here was at 0 .0029. Uh, today we did close at 0 .0025, so technically we broke below it. But the one thing uh, a lot of people forget and always uh, kind of assume wrongly is that supports are actual literal price levels like exact prices that's not the case they're more of zones or webs I like to think of them as spider webs and being that this actual price right here is 0 0.0029 as you can see you're still well within the web or the range zone whatever you want to call it of this uh, support level so that is where for you traders this could be a, a, a potentially um, kind of low risk, high reward type play um, in the sense of if you honor your stop losses, you could uh, play this for a bounce, kind of bottom feed here. And then uh, if it doesn't go your way, you just take a small loss. But if it does, you could uh, get some big gains. Then before I go any further, let me map out this other support level so I can talk about that too. But here we have the two support levels obviously the double uh, zero two nine and then this support level is at double zero one seven so a couple different options if you're a trader and you want to pick up a portion of your shares here and then if it drops on further uh, pick up your second half here and then if it falls below uh, this level just take a loss that's one option uh, you might want to just wait until it comes down here um, and see if it does and that's where you make your first buy and then obviously keep a tight stop loss, uh, but a few different situations, either average in or take your first um, you know, portion of shares here, whether it be 50%, 25% of your position, and then if it does fall down here, you can lower your average a little bit. And once again, I'm gonna keep reiterating to keep a tight stop loss, because uh, from a trading standpoint, uh, that's the only reason you would ever wanna uh, get in a play like this, is if you're gonna go and, and play with a tight stop loss, excuse me, a tight stop loss. If you're just gonna let it run and go against you, and that defeats the whole purpose. But uh, as I mentioned, we're getting into a good uh, kind of risk versus reward situation here. Now, hopping to the other side of the coin, let's say you're an investor. Well, I obviously you don't want to see support levels fail. And this one is on the brink of failing. But like I said, you're still within the web and range. So uh, your hope isn't lost yet. The key level, though, that you really want to uh, kind of heed and keep a close eye on is this low down here uh, just to keep things in mind uh, for everybody that went through this big huge pullback um, this is where it finally bottomed out 
Um, so this is where people finally said, all right, this is the bargain. This is where I'm going to start buying. And now that you're approaching this, uh, from a charting standpoint, you still want people to be feeling that same way about this price. And that's why I like charts, because it'll tell you whether or not people feel the same way. If it comes down here and just crashes below it, then you know what? People don't feel like they did back here. They're not finding it as good as a bargain as they did at this point in time. But if it holds strong and the price starts to flutter around here like that, then that shows you that, you know what? Maybe people's um, feelings and thoughts still do feel the same and we got a potential bounce here that's why um, from both perspectives traders or investors it's a good little setup because uh, you're gonna be testing the psychology of the market here um, right now this one is failing so you could say well the psychology tells me that people don't feel the same way as they did here because the price is going through but once again just to reiterate we're not talking about specific prices so it is still within this uh, zone this web whatever you want to call it so it could still bounce from here but for you investors, this double zero one nine, uh, if that doesn't hold, then you know from a psychological standpoint, that's just telling you that people's uh, thoughts have changed, and you know it could be uh, on its way to making uh, newer lows um, in terms of you know possibly heading down to triple zeros or something like that, and um, you know obviously that's what everybody wants to avoid. Uh, so either way, if you're a trader and if you want to hop in at one of these support levels uh, you know it's a good risk risk setup assuming that you use your stop losses if you're an investor uh, these are the levels that you do not want to see fail and you want to see at least sideways price action um, up would be better but you know what sideways is always better than not falling so uh, with either here or here you definitely want to at least see some sideways action and then a quick little glance here at uh, the weekly chart you can see the same thing here from a, a risk versus reward standpoint potential double bottom shaping here price fell down approaching it so on the weekly chart you may be getting a double bottom in here but once again if you're gonna play the double bottom you are going against the trend so make sure you use that type tight stop loss now, the other thing that I wanted to highlight here is the MACD you can see that it's slowly beginning to round out here which is a good sign this is just a secondary indicator price and volume are king but uh, nonetheless uh, possible glimpse of hope here and another reason why it might be might be worth trying to play a bounce here because a MACD is curling off and starting to hopefully flatten out and then curl back upward so um, you know just be safe be disciplined if you decide to hop in this as a trader and if you're an investor you know keep your fingers crossed that uh, people still feel the same way they did uh, back a couple months ago and those support levels uh, do hold uh, if uh, you look down in the post you will see a link for a free ebook if you click on that and then go to my newsletter site and sign up for that, you will be uh, sent a free ebook, which has got a bunch of tips and tricks in it for uh, some of the strategies I use. And besides that, you get put on the newsletter list and uh, you'll be sent hot chart setups, fundamental plays, uh, articles to write and so forth. And we've been doing quite well. In fact, today, uh, one of our picks that we notified our subscribers at uh, at 65 cents hit a dollar 20 today, about uh, a month or so later. So it was a good, um, you know. 70 80 percent gain from there so we've been having some good ones and it's worth uh, at least checking out and hopefully signing up for and the best part is it's all free if you do have any other questions on EESO uh, please send me a message and I will uh, try to get your question answered thanks for listening